Okay, so we discuss theoretically equality of services. So now let's do few lab. The first lab which we will do is shaping lab. We discuss theoretically what is shaping. And shaping, I told you, we apply normally on the client side. When the traffic is going out, we apply shaping so that nobody can send more than the required bandwidth. And consider this R2 as ISP. So I will assign shaping here in R1. And these are my inside clients. So when they are sending more traffic, the required one, so I will shape them. I will give them that no, you cannot send that more than that because this is our limit. Because we pay to ISP only 10 megabit per second and you are sending 100 megabit per second. It's not possible. So this is a small lab. We have a two router R1 and R2. They are connected to 12.1 and 12.2. We'll assign the IP and down we have two XP. So this is also window XP and this is also window XP. And we will use this topology for four different lab related to quality of services. These are the basic configuration, the interfaces configuration, two interfaces here, two here. And also we will assign IP to client and XP this side. So these are the basic configuration. So first I need to do that one. So this is our lab R1 I already open nothing is configured there. So let me go to R1. Okay, and let me open R2 as well. And no. And let me open the file, the script, so that I can copy and paste. So R1 has two interfaces to configure. So what I will do, I will go to enable, config, I will change the host name to R1 and no IP domain lookup, line console, exec timeout, and login synchronization. And then I will go to this interface this one and I will assign 12.1 and go to this interface I will assign 1.254 and also I will uh, uh, configure default route to send the traffic all to R2 okay so it's so easy let me copy this one and assign to R1 okay I need to go to this mode and apply so R1 basic configuration is done okay and now let's move to R2 and R2 I will also apply the same two interface configuration and some basic stuff so let them open let wait for a while let's come up now and now let's go to the script so I will change the R2 because the router the name is router I will change to R2 and the interfaces and default route that's it few things so let me paste this one so this was the basic configuration of R1 and R2. Also we need to configure uh, what is called the XP systems. So let me open client. I give them a name client. Basically both of them are XP system. Okay, I already share this XP. You can use them. Uh, we have many things configured in this XP. So let me go to the interface. And here we decide 192.168.1.1. So let me open this interface, go to properties and let's go to TCP IP and assign IP 192.168.1.1 and the gateway is 192.168.1.254. That's it. We don't need to go to uh, Google, so I don't need and click OK. So it was a simple configuration of this side and now let's move to this side. And this side we also gonna configure and this side we have a IP address I believe 2.2 so click on this interface go to open network click on this interface and go to properties and go to TCP IP and here assign 192.168.2.2 and gateway is 192.168.2.254 and we are done close this one close this one close this one and it's better to test them to ping because we have a default route configure so let me test can I reach to client so ping 192.168.1.1 so yes I am reachable to client okay because it's a small topology here we have a default route here and here we have a default route 
so definitely these two are reachable <coughs> but our target is not routing our target is shaping now i will use one application which you can download free let me go to show you when you write down uh, ip erf3 and you can go to this website ip erf fr fr i believe is france or something so you can download this application for windows xpi download the 32 bit if you are using in windows 7 so you can download this one so i click here and download as a small application it's only 1 mb not a huge one and they say this is for xp because i'm using xp so click on this one and here is a small application and download so i already download in these two xps so that i can save some time so if i go to client this side is client the other one is server and that application is here i unzip and is here you don't need to install anything no need of anything it's a small download unzip and that's it so it's here and this side and also i download and this xp as well and i keep them on the desktop as well here is on both side this small application you can use them for bandwidth to find out that how much bandwidth is passing to this interface in real world we also use this application suppose your isp say that i will give you 20 mb how you will test them you know this one is not the right way suppose if you say you can go to speed test yeah i know you will say suppose i want to test them my one say that we give you 100 you know this one in my house they say we give you 100 let's see how much they give us this one will never give you the real result and it can be a fake as well let's see i buy i pay them for 100 let's see how uh, 100 oh okay it's almost showing 100 let's see so you may thinking this the way no this not the right way. okay so i'm getting 94 almost yeah it's okay and upload is always uh less it's not like 100 okay so let's see uh, it may be 20 or 30 or whatever so you may uh, thinking that we can test by this way no that's not the proper way to test the you know there in, in the middle there are many things coming for house and those things it's okay so how i can test that how much i am taking on this interface that's why we are using this application so on this side of the server side what i will do test the ip yeah this application i will open cmd okay and i will go to desktop because i keep them on desktop cd desktop and dir the file is there cd is ip yeah and dir so now i'm in this file cls so i reach to desktop and ip er now on the server side what i will do i will say ip rf you know there is exe file here this one but remove the exe and type here s and enter this is server side one side has to become server the other has to become client to test them the bandwidth so this side is the server i make them a server now i need to move to this side and also i have the same application and here i will also open a cmd and go to cd desktop and cd iprf and here i will type iprf and remove the dot exe and dash c and 192.168.2.2 this is the ip of the site 2.2 and after that i will type dash capital p8 and enter now it will check the bandwidth between these two how much bandwidth is passing and coming let's see it will take some time and then it will show you from client to server how much bandwidth is at 2 mb so it means i am receiving 2 mb from here to all the way here 2 mb okay let me test again by the way let me take a screenshot of this one and let me test again i will paste again and let's go to paint and let me save this one because we will change them so okay it's not taking so 
let me do it by uh, snipping tool this time is a bit less but let me run them again okay let me run again let's see around they will take 2 MB I need 2 MB around 2 MB 2 plus or something let's see and yeah so let me take a screen of this one okay you need to remember this side is here 2.7 MB and even on the server side it will be like 2 yeah it's also this side is also 2.17 is showing it's correct two, so both sides okay so it means I'm getting two now I want to shape them that nobody can use more than one MB so I will apply shaping on this side that when the packet is going out on this interface check them that nobody can send more than one MB either in KBs or whatever this what I want quality of services shaping because we discuss shaping so I, what I will do I will go to R1 I told you shaping apply an outgoing interface from your organization to the ISP normally so I will go to configuration and here I will first identify the traffic IP access less extended suppose test and here I will permit IP host 192.168.1.1 which is the XP client IP and when they are going to 192.168.2.2 the other XP server and exit this is the ACL to identify the source and destination then class map which we discussed yesterday I will say class map and match all and the name is cmap I give them cmap this is my class name and then match access group and what is the name of the ACL is test we just created and done and out from here so class map is done now I need to create a policy map policy map and give them p map this the name whatever the name you want to give them and call the class map so class is cmap we just created and I say shape shape average 1 MB either let me give them 500 KB question mark so there is KB there is mega giga I say 500 that nobody can send the traffic more than 500 KB this the average one and exit I take a action exit and now I need to apply on which interface get 0 slash 0 on this interface when the traffic is going out on 0 slash 0 interface take a action which action service policy output pmap just we created pmap and enter and we are done how to verify them so you can verify by this command show policy map interface so policy map interface gig 0 slash 0 okay so this is whereas this is our CIR I just discussed theoretically CIR what is CIR so this one KBs we give them this one if somebody tried so let's do the test again let me send the traffic from client to server and this time it will not exceed then 500 KB because we say that nobody can send so now the bandwidth will be 500 KB let's see maybe less or maybe less maybe more you see 523 just before without that one it was 2 MB 2.7 MB now it will never ever 2 MB because we have configured quality of services shaping that shape them nobody can send more than 500 KB until you need to increase here is we give them this one so let's see again 501 you see the difference and you can verify from here as well from this command here is they say that how much match here is we shape them 
and there should be shape is this one and if it is there so they gonna where is there will be q somewhere yeah so q limit is 64 pick it and here is zero has been dropped and this one is in buffer so these are you know we discuss shaping that it will keep them and send them it will not send them more than 500 kb so let's go back this was we configure on server side then on client side and we check it was 6 mb in this case 6 mb right now is 2 mb and when we shape them here i shape them 1 mb but in this case i shape them 500 kb on r1 and after that when we test them so it give them 1 mb in this case but in our case 500 so we shape them this is called shaping on cisco router to shape them so nobody can send them and as i told you shaping we normally apply an outgoing interface now we will do the opposite of shaping which is policing which has been configured by r2 when they are getting more than 500 kb it will be dropped here it will shape them it will keep them it will keep them and send them not more than 500 kb this was the shaping lab okay